Hello everyone and welcome to this week's quick tip extensions tutorial. This falls under extensions just because we're going to be going over my favorite and currently used uh, JavaScript obfuscator tool. I use obfuscator.io, not sponsored or anything, but just a super useful website to basically obfuscate your JavaScript code, make it much more harder to crack and read, and today I'm going to be showing you about it. As we move forward in popularity and growing the channel, I'm going to shout out the Discord and the links in the description less. They're just going to become simple, quick things like this. So make sure you check out the links down below to GitHub. Uh, follow us on all the things down there and check out some stuff we make. And we're going to get straight into this quick tip. Make sure you get things quicker and uh, let's go on. So obfuscator.io is the website. And if you're not familiar, obfuscation is just when you take your raw source JavaScript code or any kind of code and you make it so it's either A, really hard to read, or B, really hard to uh, decode. And decode just means that like you can't see the source code, basically the variable names get changed, uh, everything gets minified so that there's not like a nice formatting and it's super hard for people to basically steal your code. So Obfuscator IO not just allows you to easily paste your code in and then obfuscate it, you can also upload an entire JS file instead of copying and pasting it if you want. You also have a ton of presets down below which give different amounts of obfuscation. Now as you know, uh, JSX already has its own kind of protection under JSX bin for scripts and things like that. But for JavaScript itself, which we use a lot of times for the web type of things and extensions, uh, there's a different kind of obfuscation we're using here. Lots of different presets involved in this website. And probably one of the best things is that we can use different uh, settings to generate different kinds of obfuscation. Now, because extensions don't use the newest uh, formatting used on websites, because it's hard to update such a large thing all the time, uh, you do have to be careful sometimes which options you use. For me, I have found that the medium preset is the best. I have tried the high obfuscation preset before, and actually it can cause some issues where your JavaScript will not function properly anymore. So I like to use the medium preset targeting my browser, uh, and for the most part, that's about all I change. You can change some of the identifier names if you want them as hexadecimal instead of your nicely, hopefully organized variable names. And you can also adjust things, uh, other settings on here as, as you wish. But for the most part, you don't want to go with extreme obfuscation, otherwise your JS will stop working. I recommend the medium preset. Also, maybe I'll do this in a future tutorial or a coding challenge. Actually sounds kind of fun to do. It does have a whole lot more on this web page. Uh, basically how to customize your obfuscation. You can do things, uh, I believe it has a Node.js support, um, but you can automate this. So in my cases, I usually just have one main JS file. So all I do is I go to my web page, copy my JS code, paste it, and then click on obfuscate. And then you can either download it, but I like to just click on it, highlights the whole thing, copy it, and then paste it back in here. And as you can see, we now have our obfuscated code, um, which is pretty much impossible to read. I am actually working on trying to like reverse engineer this and it is a very, very difficult problem. Um, so it does a very good job. Um, obviously not, not everything is gonna ever be 100% protected. Everything is hackable. You need to realize that as a programmer, but this makes it really fast and easy to take our code and then uh, obfuscate it in a nice fast way. And like I said, in the future, I want to make a tutorial on how to automate this because although in this case, I just have one JS file in a lot of my extensions, I've started branching out a bit, having multiple JS files, which are have more organized code in them. So I can have, a, you know, a JavaScript for like my main functions, I can have utilities, I can have a globals JS. And I think creating a tool which can automate all of these using maybe their GitHub repo uh, or something like that, I'll be able to make a useful thing for all of you guys in the future. But that's pretty much it. Obfuscator.io makes it really easy to copy and paste your JS code, get an obfuscated output or upload files, customize the obfuscation you want. And of course, try and stick to medium or lower. Um, but if you are using like uh, modern browsers and stuff, you may be able to get away with high obfuscation. Uh, there just may be some issues depending on your settings. So mess around and this website will remember your saved settings uh, for the next time you use it so that once you once you narrow down what settings work best for you and still work in your extension, you can just use them every time. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And of course, make sure you check out the links down below for all of our other cool stuff, links and things to follow us with. And uh, we will see you next time.